Good morning, any folks who are watching this from their homes. Uh, we are on, as usual, via uh, our Zoom channel, also YouTube and LMC TV. And if you're watching, thank you for paying attention to Village Affairs. Um, can I get, uh, I'm going to move to open the meeting. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. The meeting is open. Uh, this is a work session, so we have, um, and Jack, this is your first time hearing this, uh, we have uh, a limited portfolio for applicant items at work sessions. We don't deliberate them. The applicant is not present, though they can listen in as, as can any member of the public. What we talk about on, on uh, applicants for work sessions is only the completeness. So we can identify anything that we think we need in order to get uh, smoothly through the application at our next meeting. And of course, we always ask questions. There are often more things, but we do the best we can to identify what a complete record will look like so that we can get there uh, as quickly as we can. Uh, our only applicant item on the agenda uh, this evening is for Shore Road to bring everybody uh, up to speed who was not at the site visit in September. Uh, it is a uh, gangway and dock. Uh, it falls under our permitting authority as a marine structure. At the, um, at the site visit, uh, we discussed the need to have an environmental review uh, much of the design decision on this is driven by um, what the uh, what the state requires now. However, since our environmental policies don't aren't a perfect overlap with anybody else's environmental review, uh, we have historically had uh, a, a, a qualified scientist give us an opinion. Uh, on uh, matters of marine structure construction. Uh, now, we had said we were going to have Sven Hoger, who has been our go-to environmental consultant for some time, um, do an opinion on this, especially since he is already familiar with the property. Uh, I was... I'm sorry to interrupt you real quick. Um, I just wanted to let you know that um, I, I selected the option to live stream this, um, but that doesn't seem to be working properly. However, this is recording. So, and people I think can tune in on the Zoom call if they want, but. Um, are we going I, out over, are we going out over LMC TV? Um, I mean, I, the option is to just select, um, go live on custom live streaming service. So I assume that is the LMC TV, but that's, I'm getting an error when I'm doing that. So I'm not exactly sure. I apologize, I'm not. That's really unfortunate. Um, because we should be because we should be sending live over our um, our uh, our YouTube channel uh, and also at the Zoom address that and LMC TV and if those are all linked together and we're not doing any of them, it can go up later. But it's much less likely that anybody who's going to pay attention is, is going to see that. I don't know. Is there something we can do about it? Um, I could call somebody real quick to see if I could. Um get a suggestion if you if you don't mind waiting a minute um yeah i'm i don't i don't mean to i don't mean to prolong this unnecessarily but yeah. it is public business and we do try to do it in public okay let me see if i can find a solution sorry about this i know the zoom function is working because when i originally joined it joined as a webinar using the link um and then you promoted me as a panelist so I think if people try to use yep. the link, it seems that that function at least is working. And, and I do see we have at least one attendee. So someone has figured that out. Well, that, that's good news. I guess another panelist, that's TJ. Okay, right. Uh, Chair, Chair, if I may, um, if another board had the same issue, um, if we record for uh, using Zoom, we can post later on YouTube since this is just a, just a meeting. No decisions are going to be made. It's just a work session. Um, you do have attendees and you do have the option to attend. So we, you have them on there. But as long as we can make the recording through Zoom, we can post the recording later. So Thank you, Dennis. I know we have had to do that once before. 
Um, you know, you and I both know there are certain village residents who who pay a lot of attention to what goes on uh, in land use boards, and um, and I, I I do think that wh when we can, though we we should avoid the workarounds if we can. I I would always rather be able to say that we did all our all our public business in public, and uh, even though there wasn't public comment, you could watch it in real time. Um, you know, people think of making bad decisions. They have their their they have right to see it in real time and be mad at me in real time. Okay, sorry about that. I just talked to my colleague, um, Ashley, who runs the, the planning board meetings or works with them on there. And she, she thought maybe, maybe it's just not set up for the work session um, to go live that way. Um, it would be, have to be something set up on the back end through the IT department, I guess. But, but I think since we are recording and since well, the Zoom is live. Then, is yeah, then we're gonna continue. Okay. Thank you. We're, okay. Then we're just gonna continue. That's, uh, that's okay. unfortunate, we'll, and we'll deal with that later. If 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 folks really okay. want to pay attention, hopefully they will realize that uh, Zoom is the way to do that. Um, okay. Anyway, okay. sorry to interrupt you. So, Stephen, you and I had a chance to chat just before we started. What's the where do we know where we are with environmental consultant on foreshore? Um, no, I'm. Um, you had mentioned that there was a request to have Sven look at the at the project. Um, last I checked with the village, um, he wasn't. I, I, it was just indicated to me that he wasn't um, working with the village. But I need to follow. I will follow up. I, I thought that the village, the previous planner, was coordinating that. So I'm not sure that did get coordinated. So I will follow up with that first thing tomorrow. Um, to see if, if he can do some, if he's available and can do something quickly. Okay. Uh, or if somebody, it, and it, if someone at, um, at uh, AKRF has the, has the requisite qualifications to give us um, an opinion uh, on the environmental suitability of, um, of the proposed uh, dock structure and could do it in, in a short turnaround, that would do as well. I, th okay. I think for, from my perspective, and I, I know we've got two people who were, were not on at the time of the site visit and didn't have a chance to take a look at it. I don't know how, how much you've assimilated the, uh, the plans. It appears to me to be a fairly straightforward, um, you know, project with a fairly straightforward design where most of the design decisions are cabined by what the state requires. Um, it, that means that the scope of an environmental report is fairly narrow. Um, it, you know, so in that sense, I'm hoping they could turn around, turn it around pretty quickly. I would like to, you know, keep the applicants where, where there's not much that we think we're going to need to know to decide whether it's consistent uh, or to decide whether to grant the permit. Uh, I would rather keep it moving forward as quickly as possible for the applicant and for the village's process. So if we can get that turned around, that would be great. Now, the that's what I know I need, but uh, it, I'm gonna open the floor to the rest of the commission. If anybody has reviewed it and is, is thinking there is something else they need to know how to cast the vote, uh, now's the time to say so. Yeah, same for me, uh, just materials used in construction process and from an environmental perspective. And then I'll just note that one thing that we've had issues with in the past is if that report comes in like the day of our meeting next Wednesday, uh, and then the applicant comes in, has to try to react to it and there's follow up, that's, you know, a little unfair. So if we can avoid that, um, I think the ideal timeline would be uh, with at least a day or two before that meeting. Okay, I, I, will, agree. I will certainly try. And under these circumstances where I, I think there's a little bit of a, 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 a bad handoff in how this, how the environmental report is, has been handled. I, I kind of know the applicant's preference and we always let applicants extend in order to 
respond appropriately to new information. We're, we're extremely flexible in doing that. But we know here that the, the, the applicant's professional team would really rather get this moving forward as quickly as possible, especially since we're not expecting a lot of complexity. Um, I think that their druthers would be, even if we get the report the same day, um, if they have to respond to it quickly or if they have to put it over because there's a surprise in there, um, they would rather do that, but they would they would rather get this on and get it voted as quickly as possible. And, and we'll we'll honor that to the extent that we're, we're practically able. Anyone else? Um, <laughs> Randy, um, Randy, uh, Jack and Cammy, I have no idea if you've had the opportunity to even, even take a look at the foreshore road application, but if you have, and if, if you figured out anything else that you would need to see uh, in order to know how to go on it, uh, let me know now. I actually, that's what I was gonna tell you guys that I haven't had a chance to review that, um, but so. I can okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and just by way of history, we started holding a separate um, work session because our administrative items uh, became a very long list and it was mm -hmm. very difficult to get to them after sometimes long lists of applicant items. These have become very short and we're month to month on whether we need them sometimes now. Uh, we, have, we have one administrative item tonight and that's the, uh, the freshwater uh, wetlands ordinance or what's becoming the, the wetlands and water courses ordinance. It, um, it's a substantial overhaul of current section 192. We passed this in December and for reasons I don't fully understand it, it never made the agenda for the um, board of trustees but uh, it came to my attention a couple of months ago that we had dropped out a, a definition somewhere, and I think actually two. Uh, so I took it back and, and went over it um, and made some what I think are fairly modest technical fixes. There's a couple of new definitions in, and other than that, it's a few words here and there. I circulated a red line earlier this evening uh, because I really wanted to get it out ahead of the meeting. Uh, did anyone have, I, I know Jack, express some difficulty opening it were other people able to open it i was okay i may need to convert it to pdf for some people i was uh, able I'll... to open as well okay okay jack i can send to you by pdf thank um, you i think i would like to be able since since the scope of what we've done here is pretty modest um i would like to be able to vote this uh at the meeting if everybody could take a look at it, our open meetings law requires that we not deliberate by email. So to, to stay consistent with that, I would ask that if folks have email comments, that's fine, but email comments have to come to me only. We can't um, CC other commissioners because we could easily find ourselves with a quorum and then we're deliberating. Thomas, I had uh, two, two quick, very quick things on that. I might, I might mention now if you want. Um, yes, please. One is just that if you are recirculating it for Jack's benefit, it, it, I, it would be helpful to see a clean version. There's just one or two of the definitions that I just wanted to make sure that the edits kind of, you know, tied together typo wise. Um, so if you have the ability to send that, I would take a look. Um, and then I can send this to you directly in an email, um, but I'll just mention it while we're live here. Um, that I think that, um, there's still a reference below that first definition uh, adjacent area that says C wetland water course buffer. So I, th I think that's now extraneous. Um, and then the one other item is that within the water course definition, it refers to buffer. And so I, I had sort of a question about whether we were trying to maintain buffer and adjacent area or just go to one or the other. Um, and so uh, let me, let me just send those to you an email, uh, if you want to consider them that way, um, uh, but that, just clean up type stuff. That is, that is useful. I, as between the various edits, some, sometimes we ended up with buffer sometimes and adjacent area other times, my yeah. preference, and I, you know, I'm not set in stone on it, but if, if it's just a pick one, my preference is buffer in, in part, just because that's the way we talk about it. 
when when we you know when we're deliberating on it on a wetlands application we we're usually calling it the buffer so we might as well just make sure that that's what's in the statute yeah so then and you know i'm not a lawyer um i, I think the one thing maybe i'd suggest is just in that adjacent area definition or somewhere we just tie those two buffer and adjacent area one time and then i think that would work well um but let me just send via email because it was really just clean up stuff and and um that that'll give you time perhaps to look at it before Wednesday. I, I would feel prepared to vote it by then. Just want to get that that comment across. Terrific. Um, okay. And I think um, the, my only other question is, uh, TJ, is there anything that we need to go executive session for um, on the pending litigation? Nope, not at this time. Okay. That's that that in itself is a pretty straightforward report. <laughs> um, all right. With that, we we've we've tackled our uh, applicant item. We've tackled our administrative item. Is there any new business that I should be aware of? Hearing none. Uh, OK, um, I did want I'm sorry. I just wanted to ask you, did you want to include meeting minutes or anything on? I think we had May minutes on last month and I don't recall if if we had gotten to them at that meeting. Um, so I wasn't sure if they should stay on the agenda for this month or not. Um, I thought we voted the minutes. Okay. I thought we voted the May minutes. OK. All right. So then I, th I think we've run all our items and that makes this a, a very short, and very efficient work session. Thank you everyone for, uh, for your time. We're all volunteers here and we all have other things we could be doing. Uh, and with that, I will uh, make motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Fine. Thank you, you guys again. on Wednesday. Take care, everyone. See you on Wednesday. Good night. Thanks, guys. Thanks.